Hello everybody and how are you all doing today? It's Rusty Champagne here with you and I hope you're having a wonderful day. We're here back once again in the wonderful world of my recycling center. And today I was hoping to try and be able to get some of the other items that are available in the previous updates that we have not yet acquired. The one that I'm really looking to be able to get is this electric device testing station, which is going to cost us $1,000 which we have that money. And the only thing that we need right now is the ability to unlock electric devices, um, which is gonna cost us 100 satisfaction because this testing station is going to be an extension for the second hand shop that allows us to sell electric devices and household appliances. And that all sounds really, really good to me. So let's see what we got. Oh man, we got a person here with a pool table. Um, I don't know why I hit E for a hint on that. I do, really didn't need one. And I've got nowhere to put this. Oh, man. Can I just... I, I'm almost, I almost want to just set this here and not sort it. I think I might actually do this. I think I'm just going to set this here and not sort it. Um, and if he's going to make me uh, lose a little bit of money for that, I think I will. Because I want to put that one into our secondhand store and see what I can get for it down the road. I do not want to throw that away. So I'm just going to hang on to that right there on the side. And if I lose a little bit of satisfaction for it, so be it. Um, that's just going to be the way it's going to have to be. We've got an orange peel there. So I'm gonna, let's see what happens here. Because I, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose satisfaction for this. Because I did not sort it. But I want that pool table. So, oh, and we sold an item. Perfect. So we can take that put it right in there. Yeah, I did not assort it. And that is fine, because I'm going to immediately take this and put it right into my second-hand store. I'm going to give this a nice rotate. Can I put it in here? Um, it's not going to tell me how much it's worth. Uh, we're going to put it down and see. Oh, there we go, 160. And it sits on its side, just like that. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? So we still got this canoe, got that wonderful pool table. So hopefully those things are going to give us a bunch of money. I did lose a little bit of satisfaction for that, but again, it was worth it to lose a little bit just to be able to get that pool table in there um, because it's good money. All right, how are you doing today, ma'am? What you got for us? You got some garbage and that's some fees. I do love a fee. Absolutely do love a fee. And we got, ooh, some confidential data, even more fees. Let's drop those in there. Turn this baby on. Chomp, chomp, chomp. There we go. Even more fees, and then a cardboard box. That's not anything. So, but we'll take it. We will take it. And then we got some pink, hot pink leg leggings. For those fuchsia, um, whatever it is, they're very, very bright. We're going to go over here, and we're going to charge you your fees, and have you on your way. Oh, and you bought the clock. Nice. There you go. Everyone's buying stuff in the secondhand store today. Let's hope that trend continues. I would be very, very happy if it did. Now, I could go here and clean off one of these things here again. So let's let's see. I'm going to try to do a little bit of this and not get too crazy into it. We're going to see if I can get this done before the next customer shows up uh, because you've got to finish this up before the customer's here. Otherwise, you don't get any progress. All right, I'm about halfway done, and this is going to give us 10 satisfaction, and that's pretty good. So, yeah, we're more than halfway done now. I think I can get all this done just about the time that the customer is ready to have their stuff sorted. And, again, 10 satisfaction is nothing to sneeze at. So that gets us 10% of the way to our goal of getting the uh, electronic devices. And I am all for that. So we're going to go here. Uh, now, if you splash that, does it short-circuit the, uh, <laughs> the compactor buttons? I'm guessing not. There we go. 10 satisfaction. I love it. Okay, this chair. How much is this chair? Uh, 80 bucks. Yeah, we're going to put that down. That's good money. And then the rest of this is going to go away. All the cardboard boxes are going to go there. And we've got another one. I'm going to throw that right about there. And then we've got another chair. And unfortunately, I don't think I have any room in here. Nope, I do not. So we're going to have to take that and put it into the trash. I could save it. I mean, I could. But I'm not going to. And these are recyclables. All the recyclables. So many recyclables. And it looks like you've got a coat rack. 
and we're going to see if this coat rack doesn't go flying this time like the one we had last episode where the coat rack just ended up way back there for some crazy reason. I don't know why that was, but it, it happened. It was a thing, uh, but I'm not quite sure why. We will never know. All right, all the recycle bags. And we're going to have, oh, we got a ton of money. We got $2,000. I should really look into getting something else. But I do want to save the money for the, um, for the electronics testing station as well. So I shouldn't get too crazy because I know how I get when I get a bunch of money. <laughs> and we, we do want to hang on to some of it. All right, so there we go. That is all done. You had nothing that was fee-worthy. So we're going to have you on your way. 57 satisfaction. We need another 43. Is there another? Oh, we can clean this. Let's clean this off and get some more satisfaction because we can get no satisfaction. <laughs> uh, that was a horrible one. Uh, it wasn't even worth it. So let's clean this off. Get it all nice and clean. We're about halfway there. Wow, those are big circles. Really big circles. There we go. Oh yeah, we'll have this all done by the next time the car or by the time the next car is here. Look at how pretty it is. And one of these days I am going to Man, that was great. Um, we will have to get these uh, painted a different color. I will eventually have to do that. I don't know when. Look at this trailer. All the stuff in here. Unfortunately, it's all cardboard. Which, again, is worth a bit, but not a lot. Here's some organic waste that flew right out of this trunk. So we're going to take that, put it there. Um, got a plastic box. We're going to chuck that in there. We've got, uh, what do we got here? Just all cardboard. Nothing but cardboard. WCRD. All the cardboard, all the time. And this is one of these things where I don't know whether or not this cart would be better. Because I remember how badly that cart drove. It was such a it's such a difficult thing to maneuver. Um, that did not ding. There was definitely no ding there. So we're going to engage that compactor. And I, it would help if I like walked up the stairs. I, that's why I have the stairs. To see where things are going in the compactor. So I think I'm still short of ding. I'm pretty sure. Oh, man. Why do you have so many cardboard boxes? <laughs> Where's all the good stuff? Oh, I, I do see some garbage in here, so that is fees. Because we do love a fee. We absolutely love a fee. And I can't complain too much because each of these is worth one satisfaction. So there is something to be said for that. All right, here's some garbage. Whoa. Um, I accidentally threw that. Did not mean to do such a thing. It's going to go right there in the residential waste. And we're going to remember to collect our fees. And more residential waste. And even more residential waste. There it is. Right about there. Do we have even more? Uh, yes. That's good. We will take it. And then these are recyclables. Right over here. Oh, finally there was the ding. There was the bonus ding that we were missing before. Um, from the piece of cardboard that we threw in there like two minutes ago. Alright, there's that one. I, unfortunately, you can't reach through. So the, the, the uh, barrier, the walls are basically solid, and you cannot reach through there. And I can't even grab one of these. Um, do I have to hop up here and grab it? Maybe. There we go. Oh, now I'm stuck. <laughs> that was a little bit touch and go. Apparently, our arms only stretch so far, and that was like the limit of it. All right, we've got to hop up here, got to hop in here, and we got to hop back out. Uh, that's the only way. Once you're in there, you are stuck in there. You are glued to the floor. <laughs> so the only way that you can get out is to jump. All right, got a polo shirt. And I think there was a bottle of booze. Yes, definitely a bottle here. I'm going to throw that right in there. Ah! And it does not break. They never break in there for some reason. Engage the trap. You've got everything out of here, I do believe. Let us charge you your fees. And have you on your way. 88 satisfaction. All right. Is there another one of these that we can wash off? Any others that are dirty? Any others that want to claim to be dirty? Uh, you are dirty. Let us clean you off. And that will give us even more satisfaction. Because we do love satisfaction. I'm all about satisfaction. So let us get this all nice. You can tell it's a little bit better. It's really dirty back here. Oh, man. It's super dirty back here. That's bad news. Let us get this side. Whoa! Don't run into the other one. Whatever you do. 
Yeah, we'll have this done by the time this person's ready to go. There it is. All right, 98 satisfaction. Just two more. So we've got some organic waste, which we're going to throw here and get that chucked. And then we've got, oh, the plastic containers. Um, these, I, yeah, these can be recycled. Do they still fall? Yeah, those don't throw funny anymore. That's a shame because those really, really threw funny before. And I can't put that here. And these clocks are made out of metal. I've learned that from last time. They are not made out of wood. Those are made out of metal. You would think that they're wood, but they are definitely not. So, got a glass bottle and another glass bottle. And that will be it for you. And I don't think you had anything... No, there was nothing that was fee-worthy. All right, perfect. There we go. 103. So now we're going to run in here. Going to go to management. And we are going to go to management and get electric devices. Yes. And then we are going to go to the shop. And in the shop, we are going to go here and get the electric device testing station, which is going to be an extension for the second-hand shop and allows us to sell electric devices and household appliances. Let us see what this is all about. And so now we can apparently... Do we have to assign it? I guess we do. All right, so we'll do that. And uh, we, it doesn't take a trash type. So we're just going to hit that. And we're going to hit this. And we're going to walk outside. And if we look here, I see nothing. So let us run down to the end. Is it here? It is. Okay. So I guess we take electrical stuff and we bring it down here. And then if we get it working, we can take it back to the second hand shop. That's what I'm going with. I don't know for sure, but that's what I'm going with. Okay, so let's see. You've got a couch. We're going to throw that in there. And, oh, man, you got a foosball table. I almost hate to throw away a foosball table, but I have nowhere to put it. So we're just going to take that and we're going to drop that in there. I feel bad about doing this. I really feel bad. Uh, just drop that in there. And we're going to give that a smash. That's such a shame. Really such a shame. Uh, I've got to I've got to get people to buy more stuff. I really, really do. Because this is really... It's really killing my vibe. Getting rid of all this wonderful stuff here. Alright, this ladder goes into scrap metal. And then what do you have in your trunk today, sir? All the organic waste. Nothing but organic waste in here. And as I learned... Organic waste, you do not get charged a fee for um, because it's organic. But all kinds of residential waste, you do. There is a difference between the two. So that is good to know. Uh, here in the United States, there is no difference. It's either recycled or it all everything else goes in the same bag. Organic, non-organic makes no difference. It all goes in the same bag and you get charged the same amount for all of it. But here, in this world, it is different. Because it is different in different parts of the world, the more you know. All right, so much organic waste in here. And do we have any more? We do. There it is. And I think you are good to go. Yeah, that was all in your trunk. Yep, let's hop over here. Whoa, where am I? <laughs> all right, uh, you had no fees. And you bought the pool table. Nice. Awesome. That was nice of you. Thank you so, so much for buying our pool table. Now what? So now I'm going to keep that space deliberately open because I want to see what's going to happen here now that we can do stuff with household appliances and with um, with uh, with electronics. And it makes me almost wonder if I want to take this bulk trash and move it. I think I'm going to do that. So let's see. We're going to do this. So we're going to go to shop and management. We're going to go to management. We're going to take this. We are going to put the, the uh, where is it, the, uh, where are you, where did you go, there you are, we're going to put you there, and then we're going to take the bulk trash, and we are going to put you way back there, because we hardly ever get anything that's bulk trash, so yeah, we're doing a little bit of rearranging, there we go, that's what we want, we want that right there, so that way if anyone brings anything, that's electronic. I can get it tested here and then theoretically take it over to the second hand store. That's the idea at least. Okay, you have all the radiators. Tons and tons of radiators here. 
that's going to be scrap metal. And then you've got a, uh, a wooden box, so that's going to go there in the timber. And you've got another wooden box. Now, apparently, this one, since it does not have, like, uh, fenced-in sides, it, you can reach it over, and it's no big deal. But it's just the ones that have the fenced-in sides. It's like, nope, you can't reach in here. We're not going to let you. And another folder. Give that a chomp. And then we've got another radiator. So we're going to go here. Um, with the scrap metal. All right, I might try this again. I'm gonna, I'll, we're gonna grab this. We're gonna grab this cart, and we're gonna just back this up to here, and we're gonna try this one more time and see how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna leave the cart. Gonna hit escape. Gonna take all this stuff, throw it in here, and see if this is gonna be faster. It probably will. I'm sure it will. It's just that when I tried it the time before, it was, it didn't seem like it was all that much faster. But we're gonna try it again. Maybe it's gonna be different this time. So we're going to throw all these different things in here and just get it all in here and then run it to the different stations because he's got a lot of stuff in his trunk, including the rotten bananas and the rotten apples. Now, I don't understand why they don't take these and throw them in bags. For some reason, they don't. I don't know what that reason is, but for reasons, they just leave those separate. So apparently, you can't put organic fruit waste into a uh, into a bag uh, it's a mystery uh, you never know man he's got all of the he's got all the empty bottles all right let's run all this down so first and foremost yeah this is where this thing needs to go a little bit faster all right so we're going to go here it doesn't seem to turn anymore all right we're going to leave the cart we're going to take all this out of here all the radiators out so yeah maybe this will be a little bit faster perhaps and then we got all that. Now we've got the shoes. Uh, their shoes are here. There's a shoe. We take you, throw you right in there. Add another shoe. Oh, there it is. Okay. Take that. Close that up. Now we've got the, uh, let's see, cardboard boxes, which we can just throw right there. And there, <laughs> that just barely cleared. And just going to swing around that way. And just keep doing this over and over again because he had so many of them. And yeah, I wonder what what was he doing with all these cardboard boxes? This looks like someone who just finished moving, is what I'm guessing. Just finished moving and also took his sensitive documents with him <laughs> for us to chomp up. And now we got the bananas and a couple of apples. So there's an apple in there. Oh, come on, grab that. Oh, can we throw this banana? <laughs> nope, does not go that far. I was hoping it would. Alas, no. All right, banana in there. Okay, that's round one. So now let us turn around and grab all of your glass bottles and throw them all in here. We're going to see if this is any better. So we're going to take this, hop over here, and just drop all these in here one at a time. And then, yeah, he's got so much stuff in this trailer. This is amazing, the amount of stuff that he's got in here. I mean, it's, whoa, where did you go? Um, you went off in a, your own crazy direction, never to be found again. Um, okay, so don't try to throw those. Whatever you do, it will not end well. <laughs> uh, the things you learn. All right. Yeah, he had like 10 empty glass bottles. He was definitely boozing it up. All right, there's that one. And that, oh, again, that's just, just go in. Just drop. There we go. Another cardboard box. And now what do you have in your trunk? Oh, so much more stuff. Wow. All right, let's spin this around. Three-point turn. <laughs> or two-point turn. And now let's get the stuff out of your trunk. You had like 40 items in here. I'm guessing. Whatever it was, it was a lot. So we're going to grab all this. We've got plastic boxes. We've got more plastic boxes. You've got a propane tank. That goes nowhere. You, you keep that. We do not want that. And we've got more. Oh, nope. Car battery. We don't want that. You go. You just stay there. We don't want a car battery. Uh, table. That will go into timber. Plastic container, uh, more glass. Wow, so much glass. 
I mean, that's and the nice thing is that every piece of glass is like worth thirty bucks each, so that's good. Um, all right, so now we're going to grab all this and we're going to start rolling along and see what we can get as we go. So we're going to exit here, throw this timber in here, and now we're going to uh, get the cart again. It's going to go all the way down here to the end, and we're going to grab the organic waste, throw that in there, and get all that taken care of. We'll grab it. There's all that. We're going to grab these plastic boxes, throw them, try to throw them. That's not going to work. Uh, where did the other one? Oh, there it is. <laughs> where did the other one go? It was just here. Uh, we got the dress pants. They're going to go in here. And we're going to engage the trap. This is the biggest order by far that I've ever seen anyone have in this game. Alright, all the glass. Let's back this up. Back the truck up. And grab all the glass. Throw it all in here. Again, where is that going? I don't... Every once in a while, things get get really weird when you throw them. I it, And it seems like on a day-to-day -day basis, you just never know what it's going to be. You just never can tell. It's a mystery of the recycling center called Rusty Champagne 2, which we wish was called the Rusty Dumpster. All right, got an empty glass bottle got another empty glass bottle, which again, we're not going to throw them, because I don't know where they're going to land if we do. So we're just going to pick them up and gently drop them in, just ever so gently. Is there a, oh, there's a glass there, and I cannot pick that up because it's on the other side of the, of the little gated area. So apparently we cannot get our hands through there. So now we've got a couple cardboard boxes and a plastic container. Wow. This is a load and a half. <laughs> That's for sure. And the plastic bottle. And grab that. Was that all you had? Oh, yeah. And then you, you get that back because I don't want it. And you get that back because I don't want it. And I don't think you had on all that. Oh, you did have stuff that was fees. You did. All right. And you bought the canoe. That makes it even more worth it. And, yeah, we lost a bit of satisfaction because of the glass bottles and I was in your way I'm sorry yeah the glass bottles that magically disappeared and went wherever the heck they went I have no idea where they went but they went somewhere <laughs> never to be seen again or at least not until next episode when they just magically appear somewhere so let's actually take a look can we see where these went if we do some quick running are there are they anywhere on the grounds did they go anywhere? Or did they just kind of become one with the Earth? I'm guessing they became one with the Earth because I'm not finding them. I'm absolutely not seeing them. All right, so let's see. What do we got now? So you got a metal barrel. That's just scrap metal. So it helps if I throw it in the giant, in the giant skip. Uh, that normally makes it a little bit better. Cardboard box right over there. I'd really like to get someone who brings me some appliance. Uh, sir, I don't think you're supposed to have this shopping cart. I could get into trouble for doing that. Um, we got an achievement for it called Shopping Trip, so there's that. But I don't think you're supposed to have that shopping cart. I mean, call me crazy, but those are normally supposed to stay at the supermarket called Supermarket. Don't let the owner of that place find out about it because he will send all of his guys out after you. And you don't want to get a visit from Mark, Marv, Matt, and Max. That is the worst thing that can happen to you. Okay, well, one of these times, we will actually have someone that comes in here and actually drops off some electronics. And the thing I just now noticed is we didn't get any satisfaction from that one big truck because of the two items that we didn't sort. That is highway robbery. The only thing that makes that any better is the fact that we got a ton of money from that. But aside from that, we lost out on a lot of satisfaction because we had two glass bottles that defied the laws of physics. And that's, that is just a shame. Okay, what do you got? This is going to be another one that I think is going to need our cart. So we're going to put it in the cart. Grab this, back it up ever so slightly, Ooh, just like that. 
Oh, man. There we go. And let's see. What do we got here? So we got some cardboard boxes and some recyclables and a table, which isn't going to be worth a lot, which is why I'm not saving it. Got a cardboard box again. Got a chair. Another table. This table looks like junk. Yeah, it has no value. I didn't think so. And then the question is, is it wood? I'm thinking it is. And uh, some garbage. How much is this? can we get in here? Oh, uh, we're going to try this. We're going to try... Oh, nope. Don't drop the garbage bag. All right. So we're apparently only going to be able to get that. So let's just kind of slowly drive. Yeah, this is one of these where I don't know if this is worth it. Because I'm going to be stopping constantly to do this. So I don't know if handling all of this twice makes it worth it. As opposed to running it um, time and time again. It might have been faster to do that. But, hey, we got the cart. We're putting it to use. So that's something. And it's all a little bit closer now. Uh, garden chair is bulk trash all the way back here. And then now we've got another set of cardboard boxes, which is waste paper. And we've got another recycle bag, which goes right there. And please tell me you're not part of the scenery. You are not. Whew. I thought you were going to get fused in there. Okay, there's all that. Um, let's see, two more radiators. Those are scrap metal. Again, I'm just going to run these because I think it's going to be faster. So, or it's going to be about the same amount of time. Grab that, hop out, and more scrap metal. Again, I just want someone to bring some electronics so we can try this out. This bed, is this going to be worth anything? No, it is not. Um, it's a nice looking bed frame. I figured it might have some value, but the answer is no. And this fancy chair. I don't know if this is going to be worth anything. Uh, whoa, drop. Uh, 60. Ah, how many spaces do I have in here? Two? Yeah. Let's do it. And that's not the worst thing in the world. And a cardboard box. Because everybody has LED TV cardboard boxes. <laughs> it's, it's the thing to do here. Let us get this chomped. And send you on your way. I believe you had some garbage. So yeah, some fees. And get you checked out. There we go, $3,400, and they do not move if I am in their way, so I'm going to get out of their way. So now what can we buy? Because now i got a bunch of money, and if we look at management, we've got these things. So we got household appliances, construction waste, garden waste, hazardous waste, and scrap tires. So I might see if we can get ourselves up to scrap tires, because that would be kind of cool. And then we can get the, the tire chewing machine. So we'll see if we can get another 95 satisfaction. We'll see how that goes. I mean, that might be a lot of satisfaction, but we'll we'll give it the college try. We'll see how this kind of goes over the course of the rest of the episode here and how likely we will be to get there. Wow, everybody with their big orders. Um, all the big orders and stuff here. How are you doing, sir? What you got for us? Do you have anything electronics? It looks like you do not. Um, this is really unfortunate because this is not making it worth it for me to have the, uh, the testing center for electronics if no one actually brings me any. Um, it will eventually happen. I know. I'm just I'm being a little bit of a complainer right now. Pizza box is residential waste. I learned that last time. I thought it was cardboard. It apparently is not because it is full of pizza and that makes it no longer recyclable as waste paper um, because of the pizza content that it has. All right, you've got a lone, apple, lone rotten apple right there in the middle. So we're going to take that, drop that in there, and then we've got, what do we have here? Oh, uh, confidential data. You shouldn't leave that sitting out in your, in your trailer. I mean, you hit a bump, you get caught in a wind gust, that thing is gone, man. Just G-O-N-E, gone. And then everybody knows all about your confidential misdeeds. And you don't want that. That's never good. Um, we're going to take this radiator, throw that in there. What do you got in the truck now? A uh, cardboard box, because of course you do. <laughs> all the LED boxes. And we've got, oh, uh, that's a screen. Or you, Yeah, that's uh, just going to go here. And then what else? Oh, yeah, another chair and pillows and a mattress. It's been a while since we had someone with a mattress. Oh, boy. All right, pillow back there. 
Another pillow back there. Oh, no, there's the mattress. Oh, God. Ugh. Just get in there. Ugh. Those are nasty. I, how do you even get them to roll up like that? that that's just, ugh. That's how you know you need a new mattress. If you can roll them up on their side like that, that's brutal. All right, more pillows. Yeah, this guy apparently had a bad furniture sale. Uh, got another pillow. Not in scrap metal. That is not scrap metal. Uh, got another mattress. Yeah, <laughs> just for the fun of it. Do you have any value? No, I did not think so. But I had to check just for giggles. Had to check. All right. There we go. That's in there. And a pallet. A wooden pallet, I would assume. Now, in this day and age, this might have value. But apparently here it does not. But in this day and age, pallets are worth something. Uh, just apparently not in the game world. They are not. Now, did I take any garbage? I don't think I did. Oh, but you bought the chair. And, oh, oh, yeah, gosh. A memory is a horrible thing to lose. An absolutely horrible thing to lose. Yeah, I had the, I had the confidential data. I did all the chomp chomp. Oh, man, that's brutal. Okay, well, at least we got 52 satisfaction now. So I got that going for me. So 73 more, and we will be able to start chewing on tires. And how much does it take to chew on tires? How much money do we need for a tire chewer? Uh, how much are one of those? Uh, uh, let's see. A tire chewer. Oh, $3,000. Okay. That's easy enough. We can do that pretty easily. So $3,000 and we can start chewing on tires. Whoop, that's not what we meant to do. Obviously. Um, again, nobody is going to bring any uh, electronic devices here. And please do not forget the fees this time. Please, for the love of all things good... Do not forget the fees. It's, it's like every morning when I ask myself, did I close the garage door? And I always do. But I always ask myself, did I close the garage door? I don't know if I did. And then some days I'll even go back and check. And it's like, yep, you closed the garage door like you do every morning. But for some reason, you had to go and check today. All right, all the garbage. So much of it. Uh, yeah, and this is going to be a lot of fees. At this point, money's not even the thing. It's not even about the money. I mean, of course, the money's nice, but we just really want the satisfaction. Uh, heavy barrel. Got that. Another heavy barrel. Man, got all the barrels in here. Now, apparently, the, the barrels were being held up by the garbage, which is not what you would normally expect, but that's what we have in here. Okay. And all the barrels. And Rusty, remember to collect the fees. There they are. And you bought a table. Thank you so, so much. And $4,200, 65 satisfaction. So another 60 satisfaction, and we will be able to start chewing on tires. And that will be wonderful. And like I said, eventually, this thing's going to get some work. I don't know when, but eventually it will. I mean, it looks nice. It looks really snazzy. I don't know how static-free it is, but... It looks really good. I just want to use it once. I mean, that's not asking too much now, is it? Just one use of the darn thing? Just one? Oh, wait. Uh, nope. That's a stove. I don't think that's going to be able to be used there. I'm pretty sure. A uh, bedside table, that is worth zip. At least uh, not in a secondhand store. It's not worth anything. All the barrels. Man, everybody's got their 55-gallon drums today. It's kind of strange. Now, you, an oven, can this, uh, can we do anything with you here? Uh, can we do anything with you here? Um, uh, apparently not. So, no. <laughs> but we took you over here, just for the fun of it. Oh, you're a household appliance, aren't you? And we can't do anything with household appliances, because we don't have anything that's household appliances. So, or, are you bulk trash? What are you? We'll find out. I bet you it's going to say it's a household appliance, and we don't have anything that handles household appliances yet. So that's where it gets to be a little bit challenging, especially if the thing doesn't have a value, because then we're just really out of luck. Um, you had nothing that was fees, and you bought something. I don't know what it was, 
Yeah, household appliance. And I can't handle household appliances because I don't have a household appliance container. Ah! Uh, so I guess I could... No, I, I, I can't even handle it. I can't even handle that kind of trash. This is like back in the old days of Supermarket Simulator where you had people that were clamoring for products that you didn't have because you hadn't bought the license yet. It's like, I'd love to sell you the thing, but I don't have the license for it. So, aside from that little small detail, I'm out of your way, sir, or ma'am, whoever you are. I'm not in your way, ma'am. Please don't honk at me. Uh, I'll gladly take your shoes and throw them in our used thing, our used shoe container. Our used clothes container, but just please don't honk at me. Uh, T-shirts, and that looks like it went all the way in there. And one more shoe. So that's what we got here. Drop that there, engage the trap. And where did the other one go? Please tell me I'm not going to get dinged because that went all the way in there. Let's find out. Uh, you bought a chair, thank you. Yeah. That's that's not right. I mean, I put it in there. It's not my fault that it morphed into the container. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Apparently, I need to set it in there a little more gently. So that's apparently on me for not setting it in there gently enough. Gently! All right, so 70 satisfaction. We should have like 100 by now because of a couple very wonky glass bottles and a disappearing T-shirt. It's just not been our day here in Rusty Champagne Land at the recycling center called Rusty Champagne 2 that really should be called the Rusty Dumpster. I'm still not over it. One of these days, I will be over it. I just don't know why. All right, we got another trailer. Hopefully, we got some stuff that we can throw in our secondhand store because we are now actually running out of stuff in our secondhand store. So it would be nice to start getting some of this stuff in here. Uh, what do we got? Uh, really bad chairs, so we're just going to throw those away. I should probably get this thing going, because we're going to be needing this in a hurry. Uh, yeah, really, really bad chairs. So just going to throw all those in there. Uh, if nothing else, this is going to give us a lot of satisfaction, assuming we don't have anything that goes off in a crazy direction. Um, whoa, radiator. I should probably empty that up, so we're going to do that right now. Going to go in here management and we're going to go to the scrap metal empty you up and you are now gone all the scrap metal that is the container is still there uh, just the scrap metal has disappeared alright all the radiators how do you even get this many radiators uh, was this like a, a store sale it's like everything must go and you took the radiators is that what it is um, is this like from an old JC Penny? Or something like that. And it's like, alright, I just want the radiators. Uh, you can have all the other stuff. Just give me all the scrap metal. That's what I'm interested in. Alright, what do we have here now? Uh, of course, rotten bananas that are not in a bag. Because you can't put the rotten bananas in a the bag. They've got to be separate. And uh, rotten apples, same thing. And again, this is probably one of these cases where it might have been better for me to actually like use a cart. But I'm too far into it now. So, so be it. And uh, shoes. Uh, now we're going to set these very gently on here. Very gently. There we go. Just very nice and gentle. Because I don't want to s get anything messed up with the satisfaction on here. Okay. Uh, just go on there. Very gently. And we're going to close that up. All right. There we go. We got that. Got both of those. All the files. Don't forget your fees. Got all kinds of fees to be gotten here. So don't forget them. And we got all kinds of satisfaction to be gained here. So don't mess this up, Rusty. Whatever you do, don't mess this one up. This is a lot happening here. So just make it happen. Um, get it all going. Did that sit on the top? It did. All right, let's give this another chomp. Get that taken care of. And, oh man, so many cardboard boxes. I say that every time someone brings in cardboard boxes. I always say it. Even if I only have two, it's like so many cardboard boxes. Um, at least I'm consistent. You got to give me that. All right. Uh, another one. Oh, yeah, this one I'm going to have to hop in here for each of these and then hop out. It's like playing Donkey Kong um, <laughs> with cardboard boxes. Burr and burr and we're out. 
And where's my hammer? <laughs> and hop over the blue barrels. Okay, there's that cardboard box. And that's in there. I should really be paying more attention to where I'm throwing these things. A wooden box that goes in the timber. And we got another wooden box. Yeah, I've got to make sure I don't screw any of this up. So now what do we got in here? More radiators. <laughs> so many radiators. They're just all here. Um, garbage bag. More fees. We do love a fee. And what do we got here now? A bag that's going to go to bulk trash. And I need to empty that one out too at some point. And uh, another garbage bag. More fees. And I think I, I think I threw that and caught it midair. That was pretty funny. Cabinet. This should be worth something. No, not a darn thing. Must be made out of particle board. We're going to throw it in timber anyway. So it's particle board timber. Um, organic waste. We are going everywhere with this. Again, I cannot mess this one up. I really cannot mess this one up. A shirt. Oh, boy. Nice and easy with this. Nice and easy. Just set it there and engage the trap. Just nice and easy. <laughs> Because one thing gets messed up, and we're just going to have lost all the satisfaction on this. 40? No, I'm just going to scrap that. I really should save it because I hardly have anything in my secondhand store, but I'm just going to go with this. Okay, and I'm going to run into the door because I can't. More recycling? That's going to go there. And now what do we got? Another organic waste? Wow, this is going to get us really, really close to being able to get a tire chomper. And a, what does that say on the box? Dead Ahmed. Mild, fresh paste. Okay. All right. Whatever that may be. All right. We've taken care of everything here. Collect all them fees. And wow, there we go. 107 satisfaction now. That's what we like to see. You only had six radiators. And were there even more? There might have been a seventh radiator in here, I think. If we looked down. Oh, yeah, there were so many radiators. Yeah, that was a lot. Okay, 18 more satisfaction. And then we will be able to get ourselves the ability to handle scrap tires with our tire chopper. Is there anything else that I can do with this money? Because I need 3,000 for the I need 3,000 for the, the tire shredder and then after that the rest of the money is just kind of gravy um you got an oven and this I believe has no value it yeah it has no value and I it, you can't it's not even a household appliance so we can't do anything with this um and apparently everything came flying out of there yeah, I don't think that you can do anything with that electronically. Office chair, do you have any value? Uh, no. You're worth more in scrap than you are in, <laughs> in sale. All right. Now, where would that go if that does not go there? Um, this apparently is too beat, of, too beat up of a table, so that cannot go there. Um, this table. Now, this looks like a nice table. Yeah, this one I thought was going to have some value. So 80 bucks right there going to set you there. Uh, this kitchen cabinet goes right there. And then what do we have now? Got a cardboard box right there in the waste paper. Got a cardboard box again, also in waste paper. We've got a beach chair. Ha! Huh. This might have some value. Depends on how much it's been used. Oh yeah! 160. Um, we'll find a spot for you. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, I'll take that down in my beach club simulator. Take that down to the rusty chair. It looks e it even looks like it's the same color. Be over there with our other blue chaises. All right, I don't think we had anything that was fees. I'm pretty sure. There we go. Yeah, so the office chair went in the wrong place. Um, that was bulk trash. Huh. I would have thought that would have had enough metal in it to be in scrap metal. Apparently not. Apparently it was more non-metal than it was metal. And look at that. We have $5,555. That's pretty fancy. Now let's take a look in here again. What can we do now with all of this cache? Because we got lots of cache. 
lots and lots of money. Um, I'm just kind of scrolling down. I mean, I guess at some point we could put up fences. But there's really not much else to do with the money. And other than getting other compactors and stuff like that. So, yeah. It's, uh, hmm. So, yeah, we could do a, uh, we could get a compactor for residual waste and recyclables. But we don't really need that. Um, do you have, you have a bunch of bottles and a bunch of bananas. Okay, this one I'm going to definitely grab the cart. So, we're going to definitely do this. Just kind of roll the cart up here. And exit out. And again, I'm not going to do anything crazy with the bottles. Just going to take all this, grab it, drop it in here, nice and gentle. Because um, these bottles have been going crazy today. And we're going to make sure that does not happen again. So just drop. Just nice and easy. Don't get nuts with them. Just drop them in there as if they were made out of nitroglycerin. Just, just very gentle handling. Just very easy. Actually, you wouldn't want to drop something made out of nitroglycerin, I don't think. Uh, just treat it very like it's very fragile. Like it's a leg lamp. Like it's a major award. Man, how many bottles did you have, sir? <laughs> what have you been drinking? And why so much? <laughs> why am I judging you? Why am I yelling at you? I don't even know. I'm not even sure. Um, there's reasons. All right, there we go. Let's run all this down. And again, we're going to set these in here very, very gently. Just nice and easy. Just very, very gentle with all of you. And just all of you in here. Very, very gentle. Just all getting dropped. Not getting thrown. No throwing. Just dropping. Just like that. Just one at a time. I'm going to have to run around to the other side now. Because these are now... <laughs> I apparently cannot reach my hand through the <laughs> through the um, through the screen on this, so my my hands are apparently too big. And there's all the bottles. Now I think all we got left is the bananas, and and then the apple. Yeah, those bananas look funky. I would not want to eat those bananas. That is for sure. Yes, we have no bananas. We have no bananas today. At least not fresh ones. And finally, one more rotten apple. They spoiled the bunch. And where am I going? We want to go this way. And run you right there. I can't believe I spent $1,000 on an electronic testing station. And I have not used the thing one darn time today. Um, yeah, you were just all... Yeah, all glass. And all organic waste. Okay. 129 satisfaction, which means it is now time to come here, and we're going to get our giant tire chomper. Let us do that. Yes, we're going to purchase that. We are going to put it back Yeah, to Shaft Shredder, and that's going to go there, and um, can we give it a fancy sign? Oh, you're darn tootin' we can, and we can give it a photo sensor. And we can give it metal stairs. We can do all kinds of stuff with it. Yeah, fancy sign. Photo sensor. Yeah. Metal stairs. Yeah. Let's do all that. Now, I think we have to go. Did it say that we had to do something here? And we want to make this uh, not recyclables. Oh, I didn't unlock bulk tires yet. Um, scrap tires. Yes. And now we're going to go back here. And this is now going to be for, not for that, you're going to be for scrap tires. And that's all good, right? So we're going to take a quick look out here and run. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so if we look at this, um, man, look at that thing. Don't hop in there. Whatever you do, you will never come out alive. <laughs> so let's see. Um, all the pillows... Um, is it worth it to grab? Nah, I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run. And I need to empty that. Because I don't think that pillow counted. No, it fell all the way out. Alright, let's empty that one out. So, let's get you emptied out. You are bulk trash management. Bulk trash? Where are you? There you are. Empty container. 
And now we will grab the rest of this stuff. All of these pillows. I don't know what's wrong with these pillows. Can I try them out in my electronics testing station? Are they by any chance made out of electronics? Um, is there any hope for it at all? I don't think so. I'm feeling like I got... I wonder if I need household appliances. I wonder if that's it. I wonder if that's my issue. If it's that because I don't have the ability to do household appliances, I, I'm not getting anything to use my electronic testing station for. I bet you that's the issue. And unfortunately, we're not going to find that one out this episode. That's going to have to wait until next time. Because right now, I'm just waiting for someone to bring us some scrap tires. And then I think we're going to be good. But we're going to keep on grabbing these cardboard boxes. And putting them in the waste paper. And the recyclables. Going to go there. And i got to empty that one out, too. That one's getting pretty full. Uh, management. So management. And management. And when we want recyclables... Empty. You are empty now. Oh, not that. Let's go once more. All the pillows. All the way down. I'm regretting throwing my bulk trash container all the way down there. Um, but it's too late now. We are stuck with it. We're not stuck with it. I'm just not going to change it. So we're never stuck with it. We can always change anything the way that we like it. I did not hear a ding there. That's why. All right. Let's get you chewing. Chomp. And you will be all set. More recyclables. And even more recyclables. And even more uh, pizza boxes. That is residential. All the fees. Don't forget the fees. Man, lots of pizza. Lots and lots of pizza. So that's all going to go there. You had a big pizza party. And then had to throw away your pillows. <laughs> that's, I don't want to know what happened. Just don't even tell me. I just, I don't need to know certain things. That is one of them. So, all the cardboard. Again, so much cardboard. <laughs> it's just, uh, the good news is it's all being recycled. So, there's that. It's at least all getting recycled. So, we can, we can take some saving grace in that. But, man, there's a lot. Um, so, where did that box go? It's like, where are you? And every once in a while, they get lost, and you got to kind of look for them. Just kind of scroll around. It's like, uh, you're here somewhere. I just got to find you. And just going to keep on dropping these in. Oh, they're so small. And what are you? Another pizza box? That's fees. There we go. Fees. We love a fee. And more cardboard. <laughs> I'm getting cardboard crazy. There's another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. And there we go. You get a cardboard box. And you get a cardboard box. And you get a cardboard box. And all the timber. And more timber. And a little more timber. I think we're good. Whew. That was a lot. Okay. Fees. Yes. And, and you bought our chaise lounge. Wonderful. 36 satisfaction. I Oh, and you're, I'm not in your way. That is perfect. I wanted to make sure I was not in your way. So that way you would be able to get out of here. All right. Let's see whether or not this person is going to come over here and bring some scrap tires. Because we really want to get someone with some scrap tires so we can try out our fancy new machine. And see what that is going to do for us. And if we get fees from recycling tires or not, I do not know. We shall find out. Um, this person has a wood-burning stove precariously placed on top of a metal barrel. And they have a tire. Yes! I love it when a plan comes together. And you're going to roll right out. And we're going to take you right over here. And what do we do with you? Do we just set you there? And look at that. Watch it go right in. Kablamo. And it's going to get chewed up just like that. Look at all the shavings. That is beautiful. Now, the question is, do we get fees for that? I do not know. Um, we got this wood-burning stove, also known as an oven, and this metal barrel, and then whatever is in your trunk. So what is in your trunk? A uh, plastic box, which we're going to throw over here in bulk trash next to all the pillows that got pizza all over them. And is there, oh, there's something else in here. Uh, a workbench. Is that worth anything? 
60. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. For sure. Um, I didn't know if that would be worth anything because it looked kind of ratty. This is a cardboard box. Oh. And all he had was one. And still. Oh. Anyway. And one shoe. Where's the other one? Huh. Okay. The man with one left shoe. <laughs> it's going to go in here. Uh, let's engage the trap. Uh, light screen. Trap screen. I think that was it. Now, do you get fees? I'm not going to charge them. We're going to see if there are any fees for the tires. Oh, and you bought the chair. So nice of you. And, oh, there are fees. I figured there might be fees for the tires. I figured there would be, but I did not want to pull the trigger to find out. So I will know for next time. So there we go. Lots of stuff happening now and over here in the recycling center known as Rusty Champagne 2. Got a fancy scrap tire machine here that chews up the tires and makes them into nice little bits. We've got ourselves a bulk trash that was up here and we put it over here. We've got an electronics testing station that right now appears to serve no function whatsoever because I do not have the ability to handle household appliances. And that seems to be the thing that is holding me back. Um, that and no one is bringing in anything that are electronics, even though I believe... I believe that I got electronics. Uh, yep, electric devices. And you know how many I got this stream? Zero. Not a one. And you don't have any back there either, so you are just going to have to go away. Uh, how do we make you go away? Um, delete. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, you're vaporized. We are closed. <laughs> but, but we'll take your clock. <laughs> <laughs> that's great um, that stuff will just sit there uh, oh confidential data but I can't get the fees from him because he's already gone uh, that is going to be all for this one thank you very very much for watching uh, if you like this video I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like I heard the horn he talked over me if you really like this video I'd appreciate it even more if you considered giving the channel a subscribe but until we meet again thank you as always for being a part of all of my silliness I'm Rusty Champagne and we will see you later.